All right, I'm gonna demonstrate how I make one of my pillows using two strands of yarn at the same time. I have 25 yards of ivory. I'm gonna use eight yards of gray and seven yards of navy. All right, you start the same, have a tail of about 10 inches, single. You make your slip knot, pull it through, and then make your loop, oh, maybe one and a half, two inches, and then chain 10. And chain them a little bit bigger than you would a normal blanket, because you're gonna be pushing two strands of yarn through at the same time. So it's gonna take up some space. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, then like you normally make a pillow, put it in a circle, your working yarn's up here. All right, grab the end of your yarn, the other end, and I'm going to tie it to the piece that's coming out of my last loop. So out of my last loop, I'm gonna tie a piece of yarn, the end of my yarn. So basically, when I tie that, this is a big loop that I'm gonna use. All right, and it doesn't matter, you can slide it down on there, make it a little bit lower. I tighten it up as tight as I can to the back of this. All right, so then there's your working yarn and it's doubled. Here's where you start, just hold it like you normally would. And then you take the back of each of your initial chain and you pull the two thin strands through. And I make each loop about the width of this. So four fingers, it's about how big. Just go around and do that with all of them. And that's what I do, is do that. It will kind of look like a flower. Keep going around. Keep going around. Keep that tail tucked in there. But you're pulling both through. Keep them kind of even. Got to kind of have to even out your strands so they stay together. All right. So I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have nine. And then, now this last one, which was the last in our chain, I twist it. So it's sitting like this. I twist it to lock it into place. Otherwise, it seems to hang when I, at the end. All right. So... Here I have my initial one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? Now I'm back to where I, at the beginning. When you pull your next row, I guess, try to keep your loop stacked. So one loop is definitely in front of the other. It just makes it look nicer when you're finished. Again, I'm doing Kind of four fingers through, stack them, pull it through. Oops, what did I do? Oh, stack them, pull it through. Make sure they're not twisted, stack them, and pull it through. And I'm gonna do, this will be my second row of double loops. After I finish this, set of 10, I will fold it and start to tighten up the spaces between like you normally do a pillow. Okay. All right. Make sure they're stacked. Otherwise they'll look twisted on your pillow. I mean, yes, on your pillow. Yep, yep, yep. All right, where's my, oh, it was twisted. All right, so here I have 
two rows. So I'm gonna fold it in half like you normally do. Keep them stacked again, one's in front of the other, and continue until you're out of your double yarn, and then I'm gonna shut the video off and I'll come back in just a second. All right, I've done as much as I could. I don't have enough to do another round. So what you're going to do next is you're going to, this is my, this is where I started. This is my beginning. So this is gonna be my last one. So they're all even. I'm gonna trim it behind the last loop. You can either burn these together or tie them together. It does not matter. I burn them. I'm gonna burn them. Oop, my lighter's wearing out. Those together. I like to squish it on both sides at the same time so it makes a nice round. Okay, so your last loop. So if I was going backwards, this is my final loop. I'm going to pull it through and I'll have a little tail left over. We're done with this. Now I'm going to get the gray, because it's going to be my next color. Maybe I want blue. No, I'm going to go gray. Okay. I'm going to basically make a loop with this. So here are my two ends of the gray. Again, the gray is eight feet, I mean eight, eight yards. And this back part, so here's the front. Here's my front. The little loop that I burned on the ivory, I'm just going to go through the loop. I'm going to attach these. So I'm going to, you can burn it or tie it. I'll just tie this one. It doesn't matter because this is inside your pillow. So I'm going to tie it. So then you can start putting this through on your pillow. All right. So there's your last, here's your knot. Here's the first one. You're gonna start pulling through the gray, just like you did the ivory. Pull through the gray. Make sure they're stacked again. And I'll continue doing this until once again, I am out of gray and I switch to blue. All right, keep them all the same size. I do like put my fingers through, all right? So I kind of grab it like this and that lets me know that they're even. All right, continue doing that and I'll be right back. All right, I was only able to go around once because remember you're doubling up so you go through yarn quick again you're I did my last loop behind it I'm gonna cut it and since my lighter is out of fluid I will just tie it it doesn't matter it just needs to make a loop so tie it tight I'll attach my navy to the back of this. And since navy, I know I only have seven yards, I'm only gonna get around once. So, so here's where I tied my knot of gray. I'm gonna put one end of the blue th through so it's connected. Tie the blue in a knot. And then I'll do one final go around with blue. And then I will come back 
and we'll finish it off. So there's my last gray. Here's my first gray because I know where I started at my starting point. So I'll get my blue and I'll start moving around with the navy. Try again to keep them stacked. Pull the blue through. Keep them stacked. Sometimes I have to figure out like which one goes in front. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went around one time with the navy and I'm back to the beginning. This is kind of what it'll look like. Now, I still have some blue left, which I want, but to do my final, where you connect all your loops, I cut one strand and tie it. So I'm just, so now I just have one, and this little ending that I just cut off, I tie it. So I'm only pulling through one strand of yarn on the last. All right, okay, so here's this. Now, at the bottom, just like you do the normal blankets, you're gonna weave it through. I go inside out. There's these holes. So I did that one. There's this one. Go to the next one. So I've got where I've got a ribbing, ribbing. So it's between two ribbings that I loop through. Two ribs through there is where I want to go. And every once in a while I kind of stop and pull a little bit to gather it up. This is why I start off with just single hoops because I, when I tried to do double, it was just way too much yarn in one spot. Okay. Go to this. Go to this. Pull it. Got my two things, my two ribs. That's where my last one was. Two ribs. Go through that hole. Now this is gonna be kinda hard to see, but. Okay. See, you got your two ribs. Go right through there. Again, I'm gonna pull. It up so you're closing that hole, okay? Two ribs, getting close. Oh, and this was my beginning, so I need to tuck that in, okay? Two ribs. Now I'm gonna kind of gather, pull it around. For me, this is the hardest part. And sometimes I pull from inside and that helps. Right, I'm gonna do one more. go inside and I scoosh it around. My hand's inside the middle. So move it around. Okay. And when it's pretty much closed, Feed it through the center. Oh, 
So I'm, this is where I was at. Go to the inside. And then I kind of pull it from in here. Snug it up. I usually tie it to the little ending that I have from where I started. go you've tied your ends this is like the little end from the beginning all right now I'm gonna go get some polyfill and we'll be right back all right I've got my polyfill and I'm gonna put some in there you don't need a ton but you can put a little more because it doesn't seem to poke through this as much so Some polyfill in there. Now I'm back up to my blue, my blue hoops. So here's my last one, and here's my tail. So from the inside, okay, so this was my last hoop, and it has the tail on it. So this is my first one. I'm going to go from the inside of the pillow and pull it through. Go to the next one, inside, pull through. Go to the next one. Again, I try to stack them. Pull through. The next one, inside, pull through. Next one, inside, pull to the outside. Keep going around. It doesn't have to be tight at this point because you're gonna snug it up. Sometimes I add more filling and sometimes I take it out. I don't, I never know. Okay, looks like it's gonna be about right. Make sure you've got all your hoops then just kind of start to snug them together and move them around because they're going to pull to one side just because, I mean, it has to. All right, this was your last one. Then I go to the next one. So I'm doing the first one once more because it makes that nice flower at the top. Your pillow starting to show and then I'm gonna do okay so I just did I went through the first one I'm gonna do let's see so I went through this one I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do one more I'm gonna do this one the next one snug that up get my my fuzz out Okay, all right, and that closes up your flower, and then you have your pretty flower at the top. All right, now, I'm gonna trim this end off, I mean, maybe like four or five inches. And snug it, see if I want. I may add a little more fill so I can back it out just a little bit. Take a little, stuff it in there. Make it a little more puffy. And sometimes what I do is go in from the outside and I go like this. Okay. And 
move that right back up. Move things around so they're even. Okay, so now I'm back to the beginning. There, I like that better. Okay, so I am going to, you just have to attach it somewhere. So I usually feed it through and then tie it maybe maybe way down here on one of these your first loops of blue and I just tie it in a knot and it and it'll stay hidden okay so there's your pillow okay now what I need to decide is, do I, so here's the top of the pillow. If I want to do a color on the top, I might want that. Gray, I think I want gray. So I cut about, what is this? 10 inches. And then I tie a, do a slip knot do a slip knot, do one loop, and then tie it through the end. So you're just kind of making a kind of a nubby knot, but you have two tails. And that's what I use for my little button. You put one end in there and secure it to any any piece of yarn in there. tell you this if a little piece of polyfill gets in there it is very hard to tie it and then tuck that in and then this one will go somewhere on this side Tuck the end in. And just tie it. Tie it somewhere. But I always try to use one of the lower, lower um, horizontal loops that you'll see underneath your pillow. Wish I could show you better, but you'll see it when you get in there. And tie that. Then you have your pillow. So hope this was helpful. Here's the top, bottom of your pillow. So there it is. All right, hopefully this helpful. All right, so starting with a 25 yards of ivory, eight of gray and seven of blue. At the end, I have almost two yards of ivory left, a little over a yard of gray, and then just shy of a yard of the navy if that helps. Okay, and there's the pillow.